Desmond, I remember your first art show in Milwaukee. You've come a long way. You're in Vegas at the Mandarin Oriental. Tell me about this show. Um, this exhibition is one that we've been working on for probably a year and a half or so, and um, we were able to throw the actual exhibit together uh, in the last month. I had the work done. Um, we got it shipped out, uh, got it designed and laid out, and uh, you know, and now the day is here. But I'm uh, I'm very honored to be part of this exhibition with the Mandarin and in the hopes of doing more exhibitions with them down the road. How many uh, exhibitions do you do normally in a year? Uh, in a year right now, I'm averaging, you know, three to five. Uh, you know, a lot of them are uh, copper plate reproduction print pieces. Uh, some are originals, but, uh, you know, this year is a busy year. It'll be eight this year total since uh, January 1 to the end of the year. But uh, it's, uh, you know, this is a point in time in my life where I feel my most creative and I'm enjoying it. How has your art evolved since those early days in Milwaukee? Uh, in a lot of different directions. Obviously, the scale, the size of them, uh, they're much bigger. And actually, TJ Ford still owns one of my top five biggest pieces I've ever did. And he bought it at the Pabst Theater in Milwaukee. I had my exhibition there. But um, the mediums have changed. Uh, I've, I've become more uh, mixed media, um, you know, a bit more abstract expressionist. But, um, you know, the vibe and the way I create them and why I create them still stays the same. I don't have a very deep bucket list, but <laughs> having one of your paintings is on it. Tell me about what's going on between you and the famous Peter Max. You have a little bit of a history together, and I find it fascinating. Yeah, it's a, it's a brief history. Uh, a friend, of, a really good friend of mine that helped me put together an exhibition in Asia um, and auctioned it. Um, knows Peter Max, and so he flew out to see his, uh, his gallery, his studio in, in, in New York. And, Peter Max loved my work and decided he was going to send me a gift and he actually sent me a, a hand painted basketball by him um, and he's uh, 80 or so in age and he doesn't paint very often so uh, not just the fact that he got in the studio and painted the piece but uh, the fact that it's Peter Max which is one of my idols from an artistic standpoint so uh, my goal is to uh, try to create him something um, that he can be uh, as proud and as happy to have as I am to have the basketball he painted for me. That's quite a validation for you as an artist, isn't it? Oh, absolutely. It's a, it's a big thing, you know. Another one, well, right before that was Marcus Suarez came to my show in, in, uh, in Miami, and um, he's kind of the god of street art, you know, back in the days in the 80s in New York. And uh, so uh, it's phenomenal. But the Peter Max, which is kind of a Milwaukee connection, the only other uh, basketball he ever done for another athlete, or actually an athletic item, uh, was for Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. So, um, you know, I'm not in that level of, uh, of uh, sport, but um, to be on the same plane of him creating a piece for me and Kareem, such an honor. Desmond, I think my favorite story ever was that first art show, and I think this might be my second favorite oh, ever. Congratulations. Thank you so much. I'm, uh, I'm so happy to see you guys again. Happy to have you guys come out and, and be a part of it. We've had, uh, we've loved Milwaukee. It has a special place in our heart. Um, and so, you know, our, our goal is to get back there soon and, uh, and do another exhibition.